Oh, hello. <laughs> Thanks for joining us early this morning. Welcome uh, to church. You're just a little bit early, so we're not quite ready for you, but you're really welcome to be here. Think of it as turning up to church early. So we're going to have some notices playing. We're going to have some music playing from our church band, uh, and that will hopefully get you ready to worship in the main service, which starts at 10.30 a.m. Now, if you've just seen a countdown, you're actually watching this the right way. You're watching it with a whole of the church family. We want to encourage everyone to be ready to watch the service at 10.30 a.m. every Sunday. But if you're watching this later on in the day, please feel free, fast forward through this section if you'd like to. Uh, do look at the notices. Each section of notices repeats. So if you've seen one, you've seen them all. And if you look up here, you'll see a little countdown. This tells you how long it is until our service starts. So make yourselves comfortable. Uh, let me get on and get some stuff ready and I'll see you at 10.30. Great. Jesus bled and died for me. I see his wounds, his hands, his feet, my Savior on that cursed tree. His body bound and drenched in tears. He laid him down in Joseph's tomb, the entrance sealed by heavy stone, Messiah still.
Good morning and welcome to Church Online at Stockton Parish Church today, Sunday the 14th of June. Our building isn't available right now, so every Sunday at 10.30 a.m. we meet here on YouTube for a service where we worship God, grow closer to Him and get prepared to change the world. Thank you for joining us this morning. You are really welcome. Let me especially welcome you if this is your first time or if you've only recently joined us. And let me invite you to come and say hello straight after the service. We can't invite you to stay for a coffee after the service as we would if we were in the building. But we can still invite you to come and say hello. So we have a special online meeting with a few of our welcome team. The details are in the notice section before and after this video. We are carrying on with our new teaching series, We Are Your Church, as we ask God what it means to be His church in these days. This week we have Sarah Bailey, one of our worship leaders, sharing her thoughts and some of her music. And as usual, at the end of today's video, we'll take up our offering and be commissioned to head out into the places where we live, love, learn, work and play. Let's begin, though, by worshipping through song. Psalm 57 says, I will praise you, Lord, among the nations. I will sing of you among the peoples, for great is your love reaching to the heavens. Your faithfulness reaches to the skies. Be exalted, O God, above the heavens. Let your glory be over all the earth. Beautiful words. Let's pray and say, Holy Spirit, will you come and lead us in worship this morning? Would our voices mingle with those in heaven and be a sweet sound in your ears, wherever you are. Let me invite you to stand, let our voices join together and let's worship. It's falling from the clouds, a strange and lovely sound. I hear it in the thunder and the rain. It's ringing in the skies like cannons in the night. The music of the universe plays, singing, You are holy, great and mighty. The moon and the stars declare who you are, and I'm so unworthy, but still you. Forever my heart will sing of how great you are. Beautiful and free, the sun of galaxies, it's reaching far beyond the Milky Way. Let's join in with the sounds. Come on, let's sing it out as the music of the universe plays. Singing, You are holy, great and mighty. The moon and the stars declare who you are. And I'm so unworthy, but still you love me. Forever my heart will sing of you All glory, honor, power is yours, amen All glory, honor, power is yours, amen All glory, honor, power is yours forever The moon and the stars declare who you are And I'm so unworthy, but still you love me Forever my heart will sing of you Oh, you are holy, great and mighty The moon and the stars declare who you are I'm so unworthy, but still you love me forever. 
hearts will sing of how great you are. How great you are. How great you What does it mean to be God's church in these days? That's what we're asking in this teaching series. And today we have Sarah Bailey speaking to us. Sarah has been part of SPC for quite some time. She's a wonderfully skilled musician and is regularly in our Sunday bands, as well as leading some of our worship. Now, at the start of lockdown, she wrote a beautiful song, which we're going to listen to a little bit later. But first, here's an interview that we filmed with Sarah, where she explains a little about what she thinks God is saying to us in these days. Sarah, thanks for coming out. This is our first socially distanced interview. It's yes. a bit of a weird experience. It's very strange. We've been, uh, <laughs> we're, we've been here for about 15 minutes as Steve Mitchell sets up all this equipment. But we hope it makes it a bit better. Hopes it brings it to life a little bit. Mm -hmm. Sarah, we're in a teaching series. Uh, we've just begun it. Yeah. We are your church. God, what does it mean to be your church in these days? Mm. And um, right at the start of lockdown, you sent me a song that you had written. And when I was asking God about what we should be doing in this series, actually it was you and that song that came to mind. I think the Lord reminded me of mm. it. Will you tell us a little bit about that song and, and where it came from? Yeah, and, so, um, sorry, yes. Um, so it was, just a it was a couple of days before lockdown, actually, right. in March. Um, I was driving to Tesco, that's how I definitely know it's before lockdown, because I haven't been since. Um, yeah, and I was just, but obviously things had started to change, things were closed, things were slowing down for, well, obviously for people like parents and healthcare workers, life has sped up a lot. Yeah. But um, for the vast majority of us, um, things were slowed and changed, and especially whatever we're doing, our rhythms and the way we do things, the things we can and can't do have changed. And I was just asking God, like, what are you, what are you saying to us right now? <laughs> and I just had a couple of lines in my head that were just like kind of look around, hear the sounds in this time of change um, as life slows down. And I was just singing it and then I was worshipping um, later just with my mum and dad. And um, I just tried to play it a bit and a little bit more of the song came. Um, and then the next day I just thought I'll try and record it. So it was very organic really. And then I just kind of laid on top of it. But um, yeah, so that's where it, stemmed from and I think you you said to me that you, that song have you used that song in your online small group have, have you have the folks in your group um, made use of that song have you have you played it live for them uh, no I've said, I, I basically sent it to a few friends just a lot of different people some mm -hmm. old friends from work um, yeah um, just as a kind of I myself I've, I've listened to it a lot because I find it really Peaceful. I think that's what a lot of people have found, and it's. I mean, even no matter what, there's a lot of people who've listened to it who probably don't think about God a lot. Don't have, you know, are not um, not in a church or anything like that. But there's. So you sent it I to think, sort of non-Christian oh, friends. Yeah, that's. I've actually. Had, there's, I mean, more people have responded actually who, um, you know, wouldn't necessarily call themselves a Christian or anything like that. But I think I think it's because there's just something in it which. Because I think what God's been speaking to me as well in this time and to a lot of people is that, that God is everywhere and for everyone. We are all his children. We're all made and created 
by him is what I believe and, it, and I think it doesn't matter where we've been or where we're going if we um, if we associate ourselves with church and Christianity or not like creation is around us God is around us and um, and I think that's what I've felt from the about the creativity of God as well that's what he's been really been speaking to me about just coming back taking a step back and just thinking what is around me what, you know what is because I think as well in our culture um, we're so disconnected <laughs> well I am with with nature with the sun you know other cultures are more so than we are we just don't have that connection anymore and I think part of it God is speaking to me is just about coming back to our roots really and all sorts of things and in terms of church as well you know we can't do the things we can't we can't worship corporately or anything like that in the same way as we did and who knows how long that'll go on for and I think it's just about coming back and saying all right God what are you doing today how can I partner with you today there's great Emma Stark and Glasgow Prophetic said a great thing just in the mornings of saying coming aside and just saying God how can I partner with you creatively today and I think all of us can ask that question. Um, yeah. <laughs> Do you think there's a, a single key message w within the song that you've written uh, for people? Because we're going to play that song uh, in yeah. a moment. We're going we're to play the recording that, that you sent to me. Um, do you think there's a, a single key message that you'd want to highlight to people as they listen and uh, allow the song to yeah, listen I think to them it's, this morning? It's, just, it's about reconnecting, I think, and that is can be in... You can interpret that in so many different ways, and but I think that's what God is saying. I'm reconnecting you with who I am, <laughs> not with who you might have been told that I am, not with who you might, you know, have been taught that I am. And you might have been angry at me, you might have been upset at me, you might feel disappointed by me, but I'm going to show you. I think that's what God's saying. I'm going to show you who I am, that I am love, that I am for you. And like God said to Moses, when Moses said, "Who shall I say sent me?" and God said, "I am," He sent by "I am." And that doesn't give us a load of great answers or theological answers. But that's, I think that spoke to me as well about, you know, we can't put God in a box of who he is. He's so much greater and so much bigger than we even know, no matter how long we might have studied or <laughs> chatted by now about him. There's always more. He is. He yeah. is. I am yeah. who I am. Sarah, thanks very much. Thanks for sharing the it's song right. with us. <laughs> uh, we hope the song blesses you this morning. Uh, we're just going to allow the song to play. Please allow it to minister to you. Listen to what God might be saying to you. Look around and recognize that God is I am.
I'm not hiding my face Just look around as life slows down Look around as the world changes Reconnecting you Reconnecting you with who I really am I'm reconnecting Reconnecting you Reconnecting you with who I really am So look around
meeting together every Sunday morning, even virtually across the internet, is one of my greatest joys. It's great to be reminded of God's goodness, His grace and His mercy and all that He gives us. And just as we sing and pray every Sunday, we also remember all that we're given. And as a sign of our worship, we give back to God from all that He gives us. Many of us do that by standing order or through regular giving. And some do that every week. And if you'd like to make an offering this morning, you can do that by going to spcgive.org.uk after the service. And when you do that, you're partnering with the rest of the SPC family and God as we do the work of his kingdom. Let's pray and let's give thanks. Father, thank you for all that we've received from you. And now we give back as a sign of our love through our bank account and through SPC Give. And ask that you would bless this money for the building and the sustaining of your kingdom. Amen. We we're God's church, us, the people of God, and we're here to worship God, grow as disciples, and change the world. Let's be commissioned to do just that. Will you say this prayer together with me? The words are on the screen. Father, help me to live this week to the full, being true to you in every way. Jesus, help me to give myself away to others, being kind to everyone I meet. Spirit, help me to love the lost, proclaiming Christ in all I do and say. Amen. Thank you for joining us this morning and being part of this service. If you're new, please do go to the online meeting. It's just to say hello. It's no more than that. And we'll see you all back here next Sunday at 10.30 a.m. Do have a blessed week. But he brought me in Oh, his love for me Oh, his love for me Who the sun sets free Oh, is free indeed I'm a child of God Yes, I am Free at last he has ransomed me, His grace runs deep. While I was a slave to sin, Jesus died for me. Yes, He died for me, who the Son sets free, all is free.
you are chosen people, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, God's special possession, that you may declare the praises of him who called you out of the darkness into his wonderful light. I am chosen, not forsaken. I am who you say I am. You are for me, not against me. Child.